shit. What the hell is everybody up to? What you smoking on out there? If you hadn't already, hit that like button. It brings us up higher in the uh, live stream. Puts the video out when it comes back up. Fully on YouTube without being live. Let's, go. Let's set the mood for it real quick. Let's see if I can find this here. Live stream. There it is. But hell yeah, homies, hit that like button before you do anything. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. <laughs> so let's see what we got up in there. Scud, Skyler. What the hell is everybody up to? What you smoking on? Third eye. What's up, Tinger? Ryan. What's up, Ryan? I seen you message me, homie. I'm going to have to uh, look at it after this uh, video or whatever. Now check it out. Here is some of the Durban poison right here. Burning. What the hell is everybody up to, man? It's a pretty nice fat nut. Wow. Shit smells like. I remember my homie uh, grew some bubble gum one time. I feel fucking. Right. Shit's pretty good, bro. Pretty good, pretty good. Fat little tree. Ain't that homie? You on them motherfuckers has a little mustache. <laughs> Still got a little bit in this bowl. We're gonna cash out. I was hitting a bowl with uh, Grandpa Dab. I put a bunch of dabs in it. Everybody hit that like button if you're just getting up in here. That was the best way to collect, reclaim. The best way I found to do it, let's say if I was, I need to do this one so I can probably show you how to do this one uh, for long. But like you're saying, like all this shit in the back side of this uh, little e-rig or whatever, you would dump all the water out pour just alcohol in that damn thing, just the alcohol, and, uh, you and Adam, you know, hey, my bad, homie, add me back, I got you, um, so you would just, uh, dump out all this, uh, water, pour alcohol in it, shake it around until you see all the, uh, uh, dabs or whatever, then dissolve down into the bottom, then pour it out into, um, what I did was poured it out into a little, like, dab container little thing, like finish right here and then just let it sit out and dry and then you good i smoked that shit dab of my girl broke up with me fuck bro what the hell she do that for how's the yoda joint all right i'm, I'm gonna show y'all a little a little sneaky peeky so don't be saying that in no damn body no i'm just fine you can say whatever the fuck you want to i'll be done with it probably tomorrow something like that it's took him it's taking me a little bit longer because i've had to use a couple different um joint glues or whatever i couldn't find the powder kind that i use for all the other ones because that shit i can make it like really tacky and then just um like uh put the joint paper on there and that shit dries within like five ten minutes almost that shit dries so damn quick but with this stuff it, it takes like a fucking hour or something so i have to mess around with it then let it sit for a while then mess around with it then let it sit for a while some bullshit but hell yeah homies i will show y'all in a minute and y'all can give me y'all feedback on what the hell you're thinking about it this is for ty scarlet his bitch broke up with him fuck that hoe we're about to we're about to bust out uh baby yoda dab on their ass <laughs> second to go grab it. Well, I feel like I barely get high off buddy more. <coughs> 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 Maybe get you some fire dabs. Start loading uh, bowls with dabs, man, because that's what I be doing. Hold up.
like I said, I ain't fully finished with it now. I still got a little bit of work to do on the face, make the mouth, make the uh, nose look a little bit better. But, all right, y'all better run them likes up now if y'all want to see the damn thing. I'm going to let you see the fucking little ear from the back right there. That's about all you get to see. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got but 24 likes on this bitch. What the hell? Bro, I feel, oh yeah, I just read that shit. What's good? Smoking a cigarette right now. In a tank. You in a tank? What you in a tank for? Switch between dabs and bud. Dab, it's been a minute since I smoked up. In the live hood, I see you doing well. This big chief cart hitting different too. Ooh, we bought a bed. It is. What happened, son? What's up, Ivan? Uh, damn, Dab, how you gonna start this without me? Boy, where was you at then? If you gonna hook, you got me hooked on smoking double barrel blunts and joints. How'd I get you hooked on it? <laughs> I did roll up a, a double barrel one one day, I'm pretty sure. That might be why. Phone's on 2%. Boy, you better go charge that damn thing. What's wrong with you? 48 of y'all slacking, man. At least 13 people ain't hit the like button for me. What the fuck? Yeah, it's 1 a.m. where I'm at. Hey, you a true fucking uh, Dabba Squad member, homie. Smoking on some G13. I love some G13. Take a rip off the bamboo bong. I got you in a minute, homie. What's good with you, Dabba? What's up, homie? Hey, I'm smoking G13. Hey, the, homie, the other homie smoking G13, too. Maybe y'all got the same plug. Oops, sorry about that. That would have been a smoke ring if I would have fucked it up. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Y'all motherfuckers ain't liking shit. But here we go, homie. This is what I got so far for the Baby Yoda joint. See his little eyes. No mold, all fold, man. See his little hands. Oh, well, fuck, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. The back of his head. Now, I ain't just make it. I've been making it for a couple uh, couple days. Like I said, it um, the joint glue that I've been using this one is not the same joint glue as the other stuff so it's taking me a little bit longer because it takes a little bit longer for this shit to dry but hell yeah it's a little baby Yoda that motherfucker's fat too boy golly what's up Remy Remy I can't remember I always call you Remy whatever let's go ahead and pack up a bowl some of this Durban poison let's find a suitable nug First, are you putting dabs in a bowl or anything like that? Just go ahead and put you a little bit of bud down first. That's trippy. It's cool. Damn right, Grogu boy. Dab will help me to focus. I'm having an OG Kush tequila trip. Oh, wee boy. Bet you're feeling good. Roll a Frosty the Snowman joint blunt. I could do that. That'd be cool. I would probably smoke that one because it wouldn't take me long for that one. I already know. Because I can do it about the exact same thing as a... Uh, ooh. I do not see it. Oh, there it is. Because that is about the same thing as the Mr. Hanky. Just be... Just with joints, pretty much. And I could use... Mr. Hanky's little Christmas hat. Howdy ho! <laughs> Where's me Hank? That's what my dog's name was. Mr. Hanky joint? Yeah, man, that's Mr. Hanky joint. That thing's over a half ounce right there. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Frosty poop man, hey. Eh? 
How much does Baby Yoda weigh? Where is my scale at? Let me set it on the scale real quick, like. Gotta weigh you up, boy, you at the doctor's office. I did that. I thought I was about to leave from over here. <laughs> An ounce, 0. .80, but you got to factor in that there is um, joint papers on that thing too. So it's probably about like 25 G's or something like that. What, you not going for Christmas Eve and Christmas shit? What? Can you do any impression? Mm, not really. Name three skateboard brands that start with B. Would be Plan B, Birdhouse, and, uh... Damn, what's another B one? Oh, Baker. All right. So what you do is you got the bowl, some Durban poison. Now I'm going to bust out some of this here and crumble. Ooh, is there a pube on that thing? What is that? What is that? That's, that's white. That's my grandpa dad was pubed. What the fuck? Oh yeah, blind. I forgot all about that. Some of that fire crumble. I'm about to take a bowl hit of some Wi-Fi OG. Wi-Fi OG, boy, but when you hit it, don't fuck up my Wi-Fi now. Alright, so you just get this. Drop you some chunk of roonies on that sucker. Oops, I did not mean to drop that big fucking chunk. That's so why I like to dab better than even dabbing, man. I just like hitting it like this pretty much. Makes the bowl taste better. And it makes it last way longer because it'll, um, it's like that first hit will just be like you're hitting bud, but it'll melt the, uh, dabs down onto the bud. Alright. That's what it looks like now. The dabs on it. I don't know if you can see that. How long have you been living in my head rent-free? Boy, for fucking ever, and I'm always gonna be in that son bitch banging around. <laughs> Now, you put a little bit of bud over the top of it, just because whenever I, uh, I used to not put, um, bud over the top of it, but then I, uh, figured out that whenever I would, um, lay the lighter back over the top of the, like, to cap it off, I was like, why the fuck is the weed sticking to my damn lighter? And it was because the bud was getting so sticky from the, uh, the dabs or whatever but like I said then you just lay your bud back over top of it how long you been alive I was about to say how long have I been alive uh, almost 30 years <laughs> well, I've been alive for uh, 14 minutes not that long are you gonna take a hit out of the jar bone or was I late I can hit that sucker Gotta go to bed, but hope y'all have a good Christmas. Stay safe. Hey, you too, homie. Do you believe in world history? World history? Some of that shit they be lying like hell about, and a lot of it ain't in there correct, but a lot of it's for real. I've been taking some fat ribs of some Kim Dog. Hey, boy, Kim Dog is fire. One of my homies grew some of that shit in one year. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, 
like a dragon. That's what they used to call me back in high school, but not for smoking. It was because my dick was dragging on the floor every time I was walking around. My boy got a catalyst on it now. No, I'm just playing. <coughs> Where's that damn bamboo? <coughs> Anybody home? We about to do an ASMR video. Tapping on that pole. <laughs> Smoking and talking, bender over and poking. Oh, he's falling, bro. Put some hits on this son, bitch. Let me, let me find a suitable, suitable nugget. Joe, W knows some good jokes. Boy, I know all the damn jokes. Was last time you took a dab? Um, yesterday. I mean, I got these damn. E rigs and shit like that. I got this one. I got a Dr. Dagger one. I got a Ooze. Uh, Ooze one. I think that's what it's called. Sounds weird when you say Ooze one. Though. And then I got a. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know, man. I got a bunch of shit. I be forgetting sometimes what all I got. I gotta do some more videos. I got a bunch of these boxes. I got a. Durban poison bamboo bong rope. Is your weed burning slow or quick? Pretty slow. <laughs> I hate some fucking weed that burns like whoosh. Some of that good shit, it'll burn up so damn quick. But this right here is so damn uh, sticky already with that dabs in it. That bowl will last forever, dude. It'll probably last this whole video, I guarantee you. Got the Mai Tai bamboo bone rip snappers bought with no cough. Where you at? About slobs a little bit though. <laughs> ever tried Pink Panther? I have tried that and it was good. Dabba, did you ever bring your bud creations to show and tell back in the day? Hell no, boy. I remember, uh, this is a good show and tell story. I, um,. Talked to my teacher and everything, and I, like my, uh, we always, like my grandpa always had uh, tree and walker coon hounds, and we would raise and train them for coon hunting and stuff like that. And just always had them in the yard, you know what I'm saying? Just an ass of puppies, a bunch of different dogs. But anyways, <clears throat> I had like a uh, little dog named Biscuit. Motherfucker probably wasn't, you know what I'm saying? He was a little puppy, he wasn't big. He's probably like that big. And, uh, I had to talk to my teacher and let me bring the motherfucker for show and tell. Well, come to find out, we get to show and tell. My grandpa gets there. I walk out there uh, outside to the parking lot or whatever. Because I'm only in like, I was in five-year-old kindergarten whenever this happened. And uh, I walked out there and I went to get the dog out of the dog box. And I looked and I was like, hey. This ain't even my dog, what the fuck? And he ran over my damn dog that morning right before he brought the son bitch over there. I was like, man, that's fucked up shit. So I was just sitting there trying to still do the show and tell thing, show off this other dog that was my uh, little puppy's brother or whatever. And I was just like, man, my fucking dog died, what the fuck? It was bullshit, man. Hell yeah, I tried cat piss, man. I love some cat piss. I thought that was a paper towel bone. A paper towel bone. Like her hips, yes, but like dinosaurs, their bones. Next couple of decades will disintegrate. Hey, so what? There could have been some other shit other than dinosaurs if the shit disintegrated. If it was stizzy. I don't think I've ever hit a stizzy yet. I might have. I can't remember, man. Uh, I got a couple zips of this. Wasn't quite... I expected but a great mixer with some monkey brain. Hell yeah, but what the hell did y'all pick up? <coughs> Your room 
still smell like weed? Nah. Like, the good thing about weed is that it just, um, once you smoke it, it'll stay in there for a little bit. Once it air outs, I mean, once it, once it, once it air outs, it's, once it, uh, airs out, it ain't going to smell no more. Once you smoke again. Like, cigarettes, if you would smoke cigarettes, then it would, uh, stick into, like, um, like the fabric of this chair and stuff like that. And, the little, my little, uh, background over there, it would stick in that. And you would still be able to smell the cigarettes, but... Bud don't uh don't do that shit. Cause hell yeah, man, I'll be riding in the car sometimes with uh some of my homies smoking cigarettes or something, and my fucking hair will absorb it like and just straight smell like cigarettes forever. And I'm like, man, I just gotta wash the shit. Fuck it. I thought the bong was a DIY paper towel, but nah, bro. Got a QP monkey brain. Uh, DP and some silver haze. Hell yeah, boy. What you smoking on? This is some Durban poison mixed with some, uh, I can't even remember what the fuck dabs that is, man, but it's some damn crumble. Shit, some fire. Mixing it up there with it, you know. <clears throat> You should do a 24-hour stream. Boy, I'm going to fall the fuck asleep. Y'all going to gonna have to watch me for a couple hours just to sleep. And then I'll wake back up and I'll smoke again. <laughs> that would be funny as hell, though. Was that the second hit off this? <coughs> I just caught the venom. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes I'll pack up a bowl like that and I won't even tell Grandpa Dabba. And he'll hit it just like a regular bowl. And you'll hear him over there fucking dying, dude. I'm like, I forgot to tell you, I put some venom on that shit, boy. Ooh wee. I don't knock you in the head so damn quick. 49 viewers, 57 likes, shit, we doing good. We doing all right, I guess. EW, I had a lot, still bet, barely compares to Cali Chronic. Are you going live on New Year's Eve? Yeah, I definitely will go live on New Year's, homie. <clears throat> we'll celebrate that shit. Even though uh, it's going to be hitting New Year's on different... Um, Different timelines, I mean, time zones and shit, you know what I'm saying? Timelines, we're going back and forth, boy. After work on Christmas Eve, fuck that. Gravity bong, opinions, I was about to say options. I ain't got nothing. But uh, opinions, I fuck with a gravity bong. I want to get a, uh, I need, the only thing I need to do gravity bongs is something to set the, um, like the reservoir, you know what I'm saying? Cause they always be drinking some kind of soda or some shit down there. I ain't drink, I don't even drink soda, but, um, but, uh, I think I actually have a bottle over there prepared. I mean, like ready now, but I don't have the, uh, thing that you put the water in. How do you clean your pipes? I don't. I'm just playing. Uh, usually like this pipe right here, I'll hand clean it out. But if it's a bone or any other pipe, I'll just use some, uh, alcohol and some, uh, some uh salt or some shit pour the salt in there first always because if you pour the alcohol in there first it'll wet the sides of the bong or the pipe or anything and the salt won't be able to pour in there it'll just clump up so always pour the salt first then pour the uh the um alcohol in there shake that bitch up it'll get it good the only time i greens the only time you greens what the hell does that mean <laughs> What the hell is everybody up to? What you smoking on out there, man? Not the dabs hit back of the throat and left me with scars. Ooh. Damn, what the fuck was you smoking? Oh, you ain't gotta be sorry, homie. Say whatever the fuck you want to. I don't give a shit. First time I hit a dab, it was from a nectar collector and no one told me that it was, so I ended up hitting way too much. Ooh, oh, hell yeah. I see what you're talking about. You hit the uh, nectar collector, and cause yeah, dude. If nobody tells you, 
like I said, whenever I see my uncle come over here and he hit some uh, dabs, and like I went, I was like watching TV or some shit, and um, just like kind of like watching him out the corner of my eye or whatever, and I looked over there and he hit that bitch when it was the nail was still red, boy. I was like, nah, bro, what you hitting him like that for? He said, that's what the boys told me up the street to do. And I said, hell no, don't do that again. You fucking gonna kill your damn lungs. Sad face, let me see where you at, boy. The last one I see is sad face about the dinosaurs and shit. I read that one. I don't see another one from me. Only time I greened out is on a gravity bone. I've greened out um three times. And they've all been from, like, sitting awkwardly and my legs going, uh, like, to sleep or whatever because I'd have been sitting there so damn long. One time, like, I already know the, uh, the story about at my mom's house. Like, my mom's front door is, like, a big-ass oval, um, like, stained glass fucking window in the middle of it. It's a wood door, but with, like, a giant oval stained glass window. And I, I was, like, sitting, like, with my feet propped up like this, you know what I'm saying? Like on outside on the rocking chair, on like the little pillar thing that holds the uh, the roof of the uh, front porch, like on or whatever. And my legs kind of went uh, asleep. So I sat like this for a minute and I was like, well, fuck it. I'm about to go inside. And I got up and I had my phone and my little elephant pipe Dumbo that I used to have in my hand. And right when I got up to the front door, uh, it was probably only like three fucking steps from where I was sitting at, but right when I got over there, this is what it this is what happened. It was like somebody was pressing on my side of my head like super hard, and it went black from like the sides in, and then it all I heard was like like a fucking noise like that, and my mouth tasted like uh, pennies or metal or some shit, and I went like. Boom and hit my forehead and look at this forehead boy I almost busted that whole door in like a battering ram and I hit my forehead on it and I like slid down it like <laughs> And I popped back up like whenever I got almost to like a shit squat uh man, My fucking arm itches what the hell is on and I um Like popped back up and I remember I laughed like <laughs> And I was like what the fuck just happened man and I laid down in the living room and I, after I opened up the door and I was sweaty as fuck and I couldn't uh I couldn't hear shit for like 30 minutes and I was so sweaty and I was like weak I was like Bleh. but it's happened to me three times I was about to say it's happened to me two times it happened to me three times you ever press on your eyes super hard and then you can't see for a couple weeks. what the fuck motherfucker don't do that shit no damn more to yourself I think I fucked my damn eyes up from uh like, I don't know why the hell I would do this. Nobody ever told me to stop. But whenever we was, like, <clears throat> going back to my house from my grandpa's house or some shit, we were, like, back down south, you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of damn cow fields. So it's just fields, and then I could see the damn the sun going down. And I would just be like... And I would look at it so long that I could not look away from it and blink, and I could still see the fucking sun, like, everywhere, dude. I was like, whoa... <laughs> Shit, fuck me up. Sounds like a blood pressure drop. It happened to me before. Yeah, I've had that happen uh, three times. Last time it happened was right, right. Uh, no, I think I already had dreads then. All right, so I got my tonsils taken out. Kept smoking for the first week. Um, ended up having to quit because I got it. My left side infected. And, dude, it was crazy. My ear got infected. My whole head felt like it was, like, growing, dude. I could feel that bitch, like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And, um, I, uh, so that was, this was about seven, eight years ago almost. And I, uh, I still had an afro right then. And then, but by the time I went back to get the checkup for the, from my tonsils I'd already got dread so it was only like a week or two after but um dude I quit some I had to quit smoking for like three months because my shit got infected and it took a while for it to heal up where I could actually smoke and like where I could actually breathe through my damn mouth again man it hurt so damn bad but uh I um started smoking again and I was sitting like Indian style hitting a uh 
a bong similar to this that Grandpa Dabba made. He would call it the ice machine. It was pretty much the same thing. You would fill it up with a little bit of water down at the bottom and fill this whole chamber up with ice. You can't even tell you hitting any smoke really, but um, I was sitting Indian style watching fucking YouTube and uh, I stood up, dude, and it just fucking, I went, mm, boom, and like popped back up. And dude, I remember I laid in the bed and I was just like, oh, please, God, I'll never get high again if you let me get through this. One of them type moments where you that high. It was crazy. I still got my tonsils. Fuck, bro. Mine was, uh, mine had got infected so bad. Like, I could, uh, y'all know, like, that tonsil, I could that white shit that you'll be, um, like, hacking up every now and you feel like something in your throat and you'll be like, <coughs> and you'll hack that shit up and it stank like hell. But, uh, like, I don't have that anymore, but whenever my tonsils was back there, I could get my finger and just, like, press on it and you could see that shit just, like, <coughs> just, like, squirting out of there, dude. It was fucked up. So I ended up going to the doctor or whatever, and they ended up uh, taking it off. I was reincarnated in 1927, then died in 1952 from a codeine bender in St. Louis, then was reborn in my current state of reality in 1998. What the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> this motherfucker has done got too damn high, bro. You need to... I never told anybody to chill out on smoking weed, but boy, you need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> First time I smoked was in the woods on a cliff over the Allegheny River. I don't know how you said it. I might have said it wrong. Pennsylvania, and I cried, and my sister asked why I'm crying, and I said, it's so beautiful. <laughs> That'd be like some movie shit. Any ghost stories? Ghost stories. I was gargling salt water like a boy. Well, you know what you was gargling, and it wasn't salt water. It was salty, but it wasn't. It wasn't no water. Nemo, why'd you let it get that bad? I got a mug shot. What the fuck you got a mug shot for? Deva, have you been? What? Deva, have you ever been to jail? Be honest. Knock on wood. Nah, bro. I be dipping the fuck out if anything happens. <laughs> but nah, I ain't never been to jail. I got in trouble a couple times, like for robbing the school, uh, different shit. But um, I was always too young to actually get arrested to go to jail. Could have went to like uh, juvenile shit, but I ain't never. Ever can run faster than pigs? I ain't that boy knock on wood. I hope I still can. It's been a while since I had to run from the police. But I don't like running from the police, so I don't be doing nothing. Uh, home invasion by myself. Boy, you better chill out doing home invasions. That was probably the scariest thing that I've ever done is breaking into somebody's house. Tell us about the most beautiful places you've been. Hey, boy, a bunch of beautiful ladies. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just like, <laughs> no, I, mean, I ain't been too many places. Washington, uh, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, um, North Carolina. Uh, not too many. And then, like, on the drive up here, but I never, like, stayed in any other places. You know what I'm saying? You should have been born back in the 70s, bro. Ain't it, man? Did we have any connections? with any of your past lives? Nah, not really. I think one of them was a fucking Indian chief though, boy. Cause every now and then I get a urge to just, oh! <laughs> Chieftain, motherfucker. I always gotten lucky, drove all the way through Georgia with pounds, scare shot. Oh, wee boy, your butt cheeks be so clenched up. You be like, couldn't even get a damn needle up in your asshole right then, boy. Crazy shroom trip. Crazy shroom trip. Uh, whenever I did the nine grams of Liberty Caps, that's probably the craziest one. Dude, I thought I fucking died. World record nut, boy. You already know it. That shit was about... I'm gonna clock it at about 30 feet. What 
What it been like getting bud since called same shit? It ain't been no damn different, homie. Well, not for me at least. I don't like talking about dead bodies and shit, but yeah. Video of the nine gram Liberty Cap. I, nah, there ain't a video of it. I was, uh, I bought some mushrooms from one of my homies. He told me they was really strong to be careful. I took about four grams, four and a half grams, something like that. Um, didn't feel anything for a while. Then I, I was like, man, these some bullshit ass shrooms. This motherfucker. I thought he had told me that they were strong just to get me to, uh, to purchase some of them. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this lying ass motherfucker. Motherfuckers ain't strong with the shit. And then I, uh, <coughs> I, um, then I ate like another about the same amount that I had already ate, which would equal up to about nine grams. And I, uh, like right after I ate them, dude, I started. Like I stood up and it was like, whoom, and I was like, oh god, I should have ate them. And then, dude, it was fucking hell. It was crazy. You ever tried the strange jungle cake? Yes, I have. I had a cart from Cali Platinum, a jungle cake cart. What's up, Daniel? Not many people know this except for my homie. So be quiet, but I'll rob <coughs> <I'm> three stores. <coughs> Did what? Where the hell did that shit go? Uh, rob three stores, made bank. That was on the news, but they still don't know who I am. Damn, for real, bro. That's crazy as hell. I got some homies that rob uh, gas stations and shit. One of them got in trouble because his mama found out that he had done, uh, well, I don't know if she knew that he robbed it. I'm pretty sure she knew that he robbed it, but, like, uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen, like, uh, you know them, the, the cigars that y'all get mainly now are called cigarillos. They're about as big around as my pinky. We used to get the fat boys back in the day about as big around as my thumb. That's a regular uh, cigar that you would, like, see on the movies or some shit. It's got like the little Peter head looking end on it. You'd have to bust that bitch down, take the little cancer paper out the back side of it, and then relay the leaves back on it and then smoke that bitch. But, um, uh, I can't even remember the fuck I was about to tell you on that shit. What the hell was I about to tell you about it? Kelly Platinum is my shit, ain't it, boy? A full in-depth trip report is always interesting. Oh, hell yeah. I have a, if you type in nine gram heroic shroom trip, I took a video in the morning right after that shroom trip and I uh, talked about everything that happened. I'm going to college to have a associate's and bachelor's degree. Damn right. I could get you a link to all of the reports. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you talking about to whenever you was robbing shit. Boy, you better watch out. They go fucking, uh, do you wish you went to college? Hell no. I was in college whenever I was, uh, like whenever I got, so I got expelled in the eighth grade, had to go to another school district. Got expelled in ninth grade, had to go to a, um, a private school. That private school didn't have, uh, an English class and a math class for my grade. Whenever I got there, they moved, they bumped me up to straight 10th grade, you know what I'm saying? I was in ninth grade, got, um, got, uh, like I said, got expelled. Whenever I got there, they moved me up to 10th grade. I was like, oh, we I'm 10th grade now. Fuck all this shit. About to graduate way earlier. But, so, they sent me to a college, and I was taking, uh, business, um, like, business, English, and math, and all kind of shit like that. And uh, so I was already getting college credits whenever I was um, 16. But then, like I said, I went back to the other school. I got expelled again. And I ended up getting home school shit. And I ended up graduating. And then I got my diploma whenever I was 17. But I had already graduated whenever I was 16. I want to be a... 
What does she say? Profesh professional robber and settled down. When I, well, boy, you need to know how to spell professional at least. <laughs> I just fucking with you, always. <laughs> Got a gold diploma. Hey, boy, my shit, uh, my shit says with honors on it. <laughs> I graduated the same year that my brother graduated, and he's uh, three years older than me. <laughs> yeah, my fucker was bad, boy, but I was like, yeet, yeet, yeet. Getting up out of this bitch. To make his day. What happened? Your dad, I'm drunk as fuck. And with the homie, can you say what's up to my homie Andy? What's up, Andy? What the fuck y'all doing? Y'all circle jerking together, ain't you? Y'all better get out of that damn closet, boy. What the fuck? I'm <laughs> just playing, man. What the hell y'all up to? The fuck, I was stupid in math. They did that to me. Uh, advanced me. Easily by two levels. Of course, I failed almost twice. Man, fuck that bullshit. You should die some of your dreads. The only thing about dying some of your dreads is it's gonna fade out and it's gonna be blonde after a while. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's hard to get the dye fully out of your dreads. So whenever you do it, it's gonna still be just frying the shit out. Like I seen people's dreads that were fat in mine, but I could grab it and probably, you could hear it actually going and I could probably rip that motherfucker off. But, uh, so it like damages it real bad. So you probably won't ever see me do it, but the only thing I could say is like my, uh, hair, but you can't really see it from, uh, like this with that light not being on that much, but my hair is actually different colors from the sun done damn dyed to shit. I don't need to turn this shit up more. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see it though. Nah, you can't see that shit. Sometimes if I flip it over and you look at like what my regular hair would be, so they're actually going like a blind goldish color, but fuck it. We're almost at a hundred likes. Let's see if we can hit a hundred before we get on out of here. Take a bong rip. Boy, I send your girl over here to take a damn dong rip. Do a damn cartwheel. Here we go, cart. Spun it. Pandas are gonna make bamboo bongs in Zoo next year, I'm calling it. Hey, boy, I'll buy a damn bamboo fucking bone. <coughs> Hair dye always damages. If you have to go lighter, you can do it right, but it's too expensive. Fuck that bullshit. Uh, I remember... <laughs> I heard that lemon juice would do that shit, and me and my brother would sit outside, squirt fucking lemon juice all on our heads, and just sit out in the sun. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Instagram, dad would say, oh, fuck, man. I forgot to, uh, to do this, and I fucking, uh, copy and pasted it before... I did the damn live stream and I completely forgot to put the damn social media things in there. My social media shit's pinned up at the top. I didn't put the, uh, y'all been on that can of buzz shit. This is my can of buzz, uh. Some new thing on some new app that's weed friendly. Kind of buzz, my shit is just like that. Oh, not like that. You know, yo dabba dabba, man. I forgot to put the A on there. Fuck it. How you been? What's up, Tan Tan? Been pretty good. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, yo, what's up? This trippy Chris from my other account got banned. What the fuck did he get banned for? He was talking shit to somebody or something. 
What's up, Dad? We're chilling with a Bible, Bible paper joint. What are you doing that for? Yo, Dad, I'm off a 500 milligram indica edible. Ooh, we son. I know you feeling good. That motherfucker be hitting hard. Take this dab with me. Take your damn dab with you, you son of a bitch. I don't really feel like hitting a damn dab. I'll hit a bone rip there. Let me bust out old Henny. Where is my bone piece? Y'all ready to get y'all's shit packed up and ready, man? How long have I been on here? 45 minutes? Nah, man, I ain't gonna roll the Bible paper joint. I used to do that back in the day, but I don't like doing that. What's good, y'all? Stop playing. See what they did to Yola. What happened to Yola? Uh, where you live, not being weird, just wondering, don't be specific. I've been watching the state. That's about as specific. Pacific as I can get, no, I'm just playing. I don't really like saying anything like where I'm at, man. Cause like I said, I said my name, not even my full name one time. And I came back to my homie's house and uh, I was like, you know who that is? And he's like, nah, cause it was like a car in his driveway. And he's like, nah, I don't know who that is. And then whenever I got out of the car, I heard it was like probably about four or five people up on the uh, front porch. This happened a long time ago, probably like four or five years ago. And um, whenever I got out of the car, they was like, Dabba, and I was just like, what the fuck? How the hell did they fucking calculate my damn coordinates, man? Good God. That shit was freaking me out there for a little bit. That was cool, but I was just like, nah, man, I can't be coming up here. Y'all got his channel deleted, but got it back. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Did you get that good buzz poster from water water beds and stuff? Nah, I got it um from rageon.com. That's what it's called. Roll dictionary paper. I don't know. I only want to smoke out of like I used to do stupid shit and like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had a pack of index papers that I was rolling up joints with back in the day. <laughs> I was like, look man, it's already got the sticky shit on it and everything. You know how bad? That's why my lungs is all fucked up. I'm originally from South Carolina. Where station joint was from? A phone book, yuck. Oh, dude, I know, man. My worst tasting one was probably the uh, the index paper joints. It was, it was a rough one. I think that shit was like Viagra though, because for some reason every time I smoked one, my dick would get hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're like. Just a little bitty ass dab with a damn little boner just smoking his damn index paper. <laughs> you ever have deep conversations about where life began and come from with the voices in your soul? Boy, you getting you need to go to sleep, son. Tampon paper works. I've I've used tampon paper. I used to use notebook. I've used notebook paper too, man. I can't lie to you. We use computers paper. I've used uh, newspaper. Fucking all kinds of shit. I don't even care. Billy is nasty. What, what's Billy? DM. Apparently you can get high off of smoking corn hairs. I've never tried it, but my family said back home, that's what they were doing as kids. What the fuck is corn hairs? Like, the shit off a corn husk? <laughs> Got some wax coming to me at the same time. Damn right, boy. Basically, that's crazy, man. I ain't never done no shit like that. <laughs> but here we go, homies. Y'all better have y'all's packed up and ready. The corn conspiracy. <laughs> we'll have to test it out. <clears throat> I might go with the sweet corn. <laughs> I 
I smoked a hell out of some teas back in the day. I used to see people on YouTube smoking tea and shit. All right, homies, y'all better have y'all shit packed up. Here we go. Everybody going on the bong. We're gonna have to do a Zoom call and everybody hit the shit together. Here we go, homie. Snappers all day, hey boy. Upcycle oh, glass, go check them out. I can get any kind of a uh, liquor bottle or whatever. Be making pipes, had the little mini ones, all kind of shit. This is his only only Zoom I'd be on. Hell yeah, boy. That shit would be cool as hell. Motherfucker, you gotta quit putting that shit up there, bruh. Put a little feller in time out for a little bit. Right there and let him sit there and think about what he did. Story time. What kind of story time you want to hear? My buddy Wu Tang the cigarette and coughed up too. Oh, that motherfucker been doing it too much. What the hell? Fucking CTC's dumbass used to put out cigarettes on his arms and shit. And, uh,. And he's got fucking little, well, he used to. I hadn't seen him in a while, but he would have fucking little circle, little marks all over his damn arm. I'm like, boy, you gotta quit doing that. But yeah, I've, uh, Wu Tang, we get back down south, we call it Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb to, uh, uh, story time about girls you had to kick out. Um,. Like, that live with me, or that I had to, you know what I'm saying, hooked up with on Tinder and had to get to leave. It'd just be so fucking, uh, I don't know if y'all have ever met a girl, and then within probably ten minutes, you're already banging that shit out. But it's it's very awkward after, <laughs> after you bust, and y'all are both just sitting there, and I'm just like, you want to hit some weeds and watch TV? <laughs> But, uh, some of them would stay, some of them would leave after, I would hit it again, you know what I'm saying, it just depends. But, uh, the only one that I've ever had to, um, like, actually make leave was a mixed girl that lived with me back in the day, and, uh, probably from, I don't know, we dated for mm, about five, six years, some shit like that, whenever... I was probably, I was like, maybe like a, two years older than her, so I was about like 19, and she was maybe 17, about to turn 18, and her dad just pretty much, like, dropped her off. Not pretty much, he did. He dropped her off on my front porch with all her stuff and everything, man, and I was just like, what the fuck? And, uh, then he left and never came back, <laughs> so I was stuck with her ass. And it got to be like some sister shit, man. Like, oh my God, that bitch was getting on my nerves so bad. She was going out doing coke, hanging out with dudes. And you know what I'm saying? Me, I ain't like, I'm like, I'll like, be telling them, I'm like, I ain't your damn daddy. You can go out and do whatever the fuck you want to. You ain't gonna stop a bitch from, uh, or lovely. Well, no, nah, I guess if she cheating, she a bitch. You ain't gonna stop a bitch from, uh, cheating on you or nothing like that. If she want to, she gonna do it either damn way. But, so I don't, I just be like, man, just go do what you gonna do. Oh well, but um, but uh, what was I? No gang. Oh, I thought you said no gag. But um, I ain't vote, boy. I ain't never voted. I ain't vote. They used to tell me back in the day, you won't ever get uh jury duty if you don't vote. Well, fuck that bullshit, cause I ain't never voted. I ain't had jury duty so many damn times. I remember one time I went up there, and they gave me uh. Five jury things, and I was the head juror on one. <coughs> oxycodone ain't a Percocet. A Percocet is a whole different thing from oxycodone. 
<laughs> they might have some of the same shit in there. It might have some, uh, some codeine in it. But Perk 30s was probably my favorite thing back in the day, but, you know what I'm saying, them bitches ain't good to do. Dub, I'm on FaceTime with my girl and asked her if, what? Where are they at? Dub, I'm on FaceTime with my girl and asked her if she find you cute. She's like, man, his face is all right, but with all that hair, savage response, I was expected for well fuck that bitch i bet she got a stinky puss any damn ways i wouldn't even get my booty hole dread out and uh tickle on her shit <laughs> how old were you first time you smoked weed i was 12 years old first time i uh got some pussy too you like xanax or have you ever had your weed laced with it nah man i don't fuck with no xanaxes I did them uh, back in the day. I was at one of my homies' house in the rich neighborhood. His dad was a um, his dad was a uh, I'm trying to think of what the hell they was calling it. It was like some kind of undercover uh, like investigator for the police, but I can't remember what exactly they called it. But anyways, he was he worked at the police, but um. We was up in there, and he was like, you want to go raid my mom and dad's room? And I was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. So we up in there. They got a giant safe. I'm talking about, like, I can't even make my hands that big. It was probably, like, freaking four feet wide, about six feet tall, huge. He, he was like, I know the combination. And I was like, all right, cool. He opened that bitch up, dude, and there was just stacks of fucking guns. Most of them was in boxes, and he, like, was looking through them, and I was like, I already knew. I ain't putting my fingerprints on none of that, boy. And, um, so I was like, nah, I ain't touching nothing. And he was like, uh, here, you want this one right here? He tried to hand me a big-ass, uh, like a forty-five revolver, and I was like, nah, bro, I do not want that. Because I already knew that his fucking, he would get in trouble. He would snitch straight off the bat, because I'll tell you what happened. But, um, he, uh... We went to the, like, right beside the bedroom. I mean, right beside the bed. Uh, he went, he was going through his mom's shit, and he found um, Kalanapins and Xanaxes. <coughs> he gave me probably about five of each of them, and I took, like, two of them, and um, we were just still just hanging out, chilling, and I remember I left, and uh, it was my brother's graduation like i said i was already out of school i actually got out before him actually because he still had to go to graduation but anyways um so i was already out he uh was about to go to graduation everybody was like hey you going dab and i was like i don't think i'm going now because i started feeling in zanny's boy and i was just like that made me feel like whenever i took that stratera shit uh for my adhd like i took um ritalin concerta Vivance, Adderall, all this shit, but then they put me on uh, these, like these clinical trials, I guess, whatever the hell. My mama signed me up, boy. I was like a damn guinea pig rat. But they put me on this shit called Stratera, like back whenever it first came out, man. And um, they had me like on one of the strongest milligrams. And I remember I took that bitch, and I was just pretty much like slobbing out my mouth, just like, mm -hmm. like I couldn't do nothing on that. But, uh, so this is what the Zannies made me feel like. Like I was just like slobbing. Like I was just like, mm. so I was like, never again, man. So fuck that. And then, um, uh, he got in trouble and told his mom that I stole all the uh, the Xanax and stuff like that, and I was banned from coming over at his house. But which I was already banned from coming over at his house because I was over there at a party one time. And I was looking for the best, I was with this girl, and I was looking for the best bed, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, man, fuck Austin's bed, because I already know, y'all know like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, my grandpa called it like the bed skirt that goes around the bed, so you can't like see up under the bed or whatever, little bed skirt thing. Well, his was navy blue, and if he would pull it up and show you the side that was near the wall, and you know how that motherfucker's supposed to just be like, like floppy like a damn curtain or some shit. This thing, he pulled it up, boom, straight the fuck up like this. 
covered in jizz where he done busted on it so damn much and um wiped his little wiener off with it and it was just ugh dude it was so fucking nasty every time uh we was over there and bitches was in the room or whatever I'd be like look over there at his bed he's fucking nasty <laughs> but uh his mom come in there one time and um was yelling dude and he was like mom my nose runs at night <laughs> I was like ugh dude she was touching your fucking jizzy ass shit but uh so I was over there one day he was having a he was having a party. There was a bunch of people over there. Uh, I had this girl that I was talking to over there, and I was about to fuck her. And I was like looking. I was like, we ain't going in his room nowhere, because if you sit anywhere in his room, there's gonna be jizz everywhere in his fucking room. So I went. I was walking around, and I seen the uh, bed, and I was like, oh. And then remember, this is before I got. He told him that I'm the one that took the Xanaxes. So I. I think I was already banned from the house anyway from stealing liquor. But anyways, I was over there. I found uh, his mom and dad's bed looking nice. Boy, I was like, hell yeah, girl. I'm about to treat you tonight. <laughs> Went up in there, pounded that thing out for about a, probably like a good five. You know what I'm saying? Good five minutes. <laughs> it was probably a little, maybe a little longer. I was over there pounding it out. I'm pounding it out, and I hear, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that that Austin boy would do this fucking stupid ass laugh that would just sound so fucking funny, man. And he, I looked and I was like, where the fuck is that from? And I was looking and I seen about three or four heads sticking out of like, he, I didn't know it, but this is when I found it out. This rich motherfucker has secret passageway through his house. How rich do you gotta be to have a secret passageway? We got a secret passageway that he can open up to go in any room of the fucking house, man, so. And you can't even see the damn door. It's just like blended in with like the wall. And uh, so I'm like, I was like, what the fuck? I'm still over there. She's on top of me. I'm like, pounding that out. I hear his little bitch ass over there laughing. And I uh, was like, y'all motherfuckers, get out of here. And I never stopped, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be like, oh, gosh, get off of me. And the girl didn't care either. So I was like, fuck it. So I just started pounding that shit out. These three fucking stooges over here watching. And I ended up, uh, this was before that I knew that, uh, I was allergic to condoms. I took the, I busted or whatever in the condom. No pullout game back then. Straight leaving it in there all the time. And uh, uh, I busted all in the condom, man. I took that bitch off, stuffed the uh, wrapper down in the condom, tied it, left it in the uh, mom or dad's pillow. Didn't know which, uh, who's, who slept on which side. And then I left. And then this motherfucker gonna tell his damn parents that I, uh, hell yeah, boy, I've been going wrong. Um, but, uh, he told his damn mom that I did it, and I wasn't allowed over there no damn more, but I still be going over there all the fucking time. James Bond type shit, ain't it, boy? And then after that, I was like, what the fuck was that? And I went through there, and I was like, holy shit. Like, legit, it was probably like a, uh, Probably like a six foot by six foot fucking, just like hallway. And you couldn't even tell by looking at the walls or the rooms or anything that there was that big of a damn thing going around the whole house. It was cool as hell, man. I love that shit. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, he said, I've been going wrong. Ain't it, boy? You gotta go wrong, boy. It just feels way better. Fuck a damn condom unless you about to hook up with a dirty ass bitch or something like that you know what I'm saying then you might as well just bug her in the butthole <laughs> growing any plants nah man it's kind of uh it's off season right now unless I did and had a uh inside grow or something like that like a little halo Bro, your life. Boy, it's a good life. Got a weed right now, so I grab my old ADHD pills and pop them. I don't know how I'm going to feel something. Boy, you need to chill out. <laughs> Crazy motherfucker. <coughs> but hell yeah, homies, I guess I'm about to get on out of here. We've been on here about a damn hour. Wait. Oh, yeah. Hour and four minutes. I thought it said, I thought it said 64 at first. 
And then I thought it said 54, and I was about to say, fuck, boy, we got about 10 more minutes. But hell yeah, homies, I guess I'm about to get on out of here. If you look at the pinned comment, it has all my uh, social media um, links and everything like that. And if you're on that new, uh, the new um, app, Cannabuzz, uh, add me on there, yo Dabba. You'll see I got a couple posts up on that bench. My little picture is the same as my, uh, my YouTube and my Instagram thing. But hell yeah, homies, I hope you like this video. Hope you're smoking on some good. Hope you're having a good day. Later. Hit that like it like button before you dip out. Run it up. I'll probably do another live stream tomorrow. Later, homies.